Look at this. I built a rocket. This will be my first launch. Something I could only dream of. This can't be. I don't believe you're planning to do this again. This will be my first launch. Something I could only dream of. I'm doing it just for you. Look how cool it flies. But it seems like it's going to crash into the house. What now? Oh no, I didn't expect this. It looks like we can't avoid it now. That was a massive explosion. I'm really scared now. Let's run there quickly and find out why this village is now destroyed. This can't be! The rocket caused too much damage to this village. There's nothing we can do now. What should we do now? Maybe we can bribe the village. Don't cry, please. Everything will be okay. Let's go home now, take a little rest, and tomorrow we'll talk to the mayor of this village to find out the truth of what happened here. Great. I like that idea. Let's go home and take a rest. Then we'll think about what will happen today. I hope everything will be fine. Okay, I'll go to sleep now. Wait a bit, and we'll figure it out together tomorrow. One eternity later. Oh no, wake up quickly. We have big problems. I don't want to upset you, but it seems the mayor of the village decided to come to us personally, and they probably want to do something about it. There are too many of them, and we can't oppose them because we don't have enough strength. What should we do? Hello, we would like to know what you are doing here. Why did you come to us? Are you not aware that you destroyed half of the village? Come with me. I'll show you what you've done if you don't know. We're sorry, please. We can compensate you for everything. We have enough diamonds to pay you for all the repairs. Sorry again. It was just my unsuccessful experiment. Yes, please forgive him. Don't kick us out of the village. We want to live in your village because we really like it. And we would like to extend your taxes with us. What we're developing is a nuclear program. I hope you understand and won't kick us out. So that tomorrow you're not here. I personally kick you out of this village. What should we do now? It looks like they're driving us out of this village forever. We need to take action or we'll have big problems. Do you realize that now we're not residents of this village? It seems there's nothing to fix. This is the only option. We need to move out of this village as quickly as possible to stay alive. Great. I'm left alone, as usual. Now I need to gather all my things into this backpack. I have the necessary tools for it. With the help of a pickaxe, axe, and shovel, I can collect all the necessary items from this house. The home we've lived in for a very long time. My friend developed this weapon. Can't be for evil purposes. Although he wants to help the village defend against zombies that come at night and scare all the residents. And the villagers don't understand this. Now it seems like we'll be kicked out of the village and left behind. We'll have to find our own home. Great. I did everything necessary. Now I'll wait for my friend and we'll go to the new house together since we're being evicted from this one. But I see you're ready for this. Good job. Let's hurry. We'll be kicked out of the village. But we can avoid trial if we leave right now. We won't be judged for breaking half of the village. Just please hurry, because we might have trouble. I wouldn't want any trouble. It's just a waste of time. Let's go faster. Hide so no one sees us, and we'll be in peace. Do you realize that now we have to find our own home and set it up again? Do you have any suggestions about that? Please tell me. Yes, I understand everything that has fallen on us. I think this is a great home. Look at this treehouse. It's been abandoned for a long time. Looks like a hunting cabin. We can take it for ourselves. No one lives here, and the village is far enough away. Look at how cool it is. Yeah, it's a really cool little house. I like it a lot. We can leave it as it is because I love these underground homes. They're always cool, and it's much easier to heat than a regular house. So, do you agree to take it for ourselves? If yes, then tell me and I'll start arranging all the materials we need here from our previous home. Yes, you can start arranging everything you need since I allow you to do so. Just be careful not to get hurt. These underground homes have a unique charm, and heating is much easier. Let's leave it as it is. Yes, JJ, go ahead and start arranging everything. I trust you to make it cozy. Just be careful while gathering materials. I don't want you getting hurt. So, I'm starting to improve this house. First, I'll get rid of the unnecessary dirt, and then I'll gradually build everything from what's here. First, I'll put the beds, then the kitchen, and we definitely need to set up the aquarium that I brought. Hopefully, my friend has dealt with that rocket he launched there. One eternity later. Now I'll build the kitchen. With this, we can feed ourselves. This kitchen allows us to cook food, which we can then eat. 
Food is energy for the whole day, which we'll get by preparing it here, in our new home. Building a kitchen is a great idea. It'll provide us with the means to cook and feed ourselves, ensuring we have the energy for the day. I appreciate your efforts in making our new home comfortable. This house is very cool, and no one knows about it because it's been abandoned and no one has lived here for a long time. Now I'll build a toilet to make it easier. After the kitchen, I hope it'll be good. The toilet will stand right next to the bed, so we don't have to walk far. It's much more convenient than having it in another room. The stool is a nice touch. Now, our new home is fully equipped. I believe our friend will appreciate the effort we've put into this. Our new home is not just practical. Wow, you've arranged everything so cool here. We have guests. Do you see who it is? I am important. Why did you leave the village before 2 o'clock? You're expected in court. Go there, and we'll judge you if they come. I'll kick you out of this house too because it belongs to the village. Goodbye. Did you hear what he said? It seems we'll have to go to court because of this. I'm very upset, but you've settled in well here, and I don't want to be evicted from this house either. We must do everything well so that we are not evicted from this house, and we won't suffer anymore. Let's go faster to court and sue together with those who want to take our house away. Here we are in court. Now we'll find out what happened here. Let's sit and prepare for the trial. I hope everything goes well and no one drives us away. Hello, welcome to court. So, you two are suspected of launching a rocket at the village residence. And because of this, you will be deprived of your home. Representatives from the other side believe that you are guilty. What evidence do you have to prove otherwise? Your Honor, I can only say one thing. They're lying, and we didn't intend to do anything on purpose. My friend's rocket definitely wasn't supposed to go there. It's some system malfunction, and we're not guilty of anything. In short, either you sign the agreement, or we forcibly evict you. Everything here is bought, and you can just not think about it. This can't be. This is an honest court. Do you want me to give you my house? It seems they know something. Let's go, I guess, on their terms. I have an idea. Sign this agreement. If anything, I'll handle it myself. I know what I'm doing. Okay, I'll do it for you, and because we're a great team, born to overcome challenges together. Great! Give them this paper, and let's go quickly to our new home. Thank you very much for giving me the opportunity to take away your friend's house. But now you have no other option but to leave your new home in the tree. And it also belongs to me now. This can't be. And I don't believe they're capable of this. It's just terrible. And the judge being on their side is just awful. I can't believe that my friends betrayed me. I was friends with them. I didn't expect this from you because it seems like this is not just happening. This is just impossible. I can't believe this is happening. It seems like they set us up. We'll have to handle this the way I think. Do you think I can just abandon all this? No, never. Do you see what they're discussing there? It's just horrible. And I can't believe this happened. Don't worry, we'll handle this. I believe in your achievements, and I'm sure your rocket couldn't just deviate from its trajectory. Someone manipulated it, and we'll find out the whole truth. The village is bought. It's terrible. I hate corruption. Let's go ask them why they are doing this to us. I don't understand why they are trying to hurt us. Stole our house. Hey, tell us why you won the trial, even though all the evidence was on our side. Leave us alone. Don't interfere. Don't follow us. This is our home now. There will be a car shop here. Did you hear what they're planning? Instead of our home, they're building a car shop. It's just terrible. How can they do this to us? What? Can't you hear well? Go away. It seems they don't even want to listen. We'll probably have to go and implement our plans, which I really don't want to do because it's our former home that was taken from us illegally. What have you come up with? I'm very curious to know why and what for. Don't worry. Everything will be fine. Now we'll go home. I'll tell you one thing. See that house there? There's no home there anymore because I've already prepared a rocket just for this. I'm very upset because I don't want to do this and I don't want to repeat your past mistakes. It infuriates me. I'm very afraid of this and I think I'll do something wrong. I feel like this will lead to more losses and eviction from the house again. I believe in you. Your rocket couldn't do this. Let's prove it. We have surveillance in our basement that definitely captured everything because the basement was sealed during rocket launches. We'll go to that house now and find out the whole truth.
Exactly. There was surveillance in the house. We'll handle this. Let's go faster and find out what's happening there. Look, the rocket hit the target precisely. I told you it was some malfunction. I definitely didn't want to target the village center with the rocket. Someone intervened in the rocket program I created. Yes, I believe you because you're my best friend. I would never believe that you did it on purpose. I hope we'll now learn the whole truth since we have access to our basement, which contains enough information that we can use to find out the truth. What should we do next? Look, the rocket didn't even explode. It just made a hole. This is just wonderful. Now let's go inside and see what's in this computer. Will you look and find out the whole truth? Let's find out together what's in our surveillance records. I'm sure we're not guilty, and we were set up, and the fact that we can fix this gives hope. Now the time has come to find out the whole truth. There is no turning back now. This can't be! It seems that the village residents, more precisely, he, the leader, sneaked to my rocket at night and changed the launch settings. It's just brilliant how he thought of that. Now we'll have to deal with this for a long time in court. But we won't solve anything in this court because the judge here is corrupt. I also think that everything is bought here. Look, he sabotaged your rocket by redirecting it to another course. This can't be. He's in cahoots with this rich guy who wanted to build something here. He gives him something, but I don't see the camera giving me such a clear picture as I wanted. Together, they decided to change the flight trajectory of this thing. No, help me please. What's happening here? What happened? Is everything okay? What's that sound? Why did I hear a gunshot? I see you know too much. I'll have to eliminate you, just like I did with your friend. No, don't do this. Please, I'm not guilty of anything. It's not me. <laughs> Wake up, man. You've been sleeping forever. Huh? What's happening? The sun is up, the birds are chirping, and we've got a list of things to check off for the wedding. Get up, sleepyhead. Oh, right. The wedding day. How could I forget? All right, I'm up. What's the plan, JJ? Look at this. She's on a ship, and it seems like she's in trouble. We have to do something about it. Whoa, that's your wife. Okay, okay. We can't waste any time. What's the plan? First, we need to find out where this ship is. We'll gather information, contact authorities, and come up with a solid rescue plan. Right, right, let's get on it! I can't believe this is happening! How did she end up on a ship in the first place? Got it! Let's find her and get out of here! I can't wait to see the look on her face when we tell her we're taking her home! Hey, we need a favor! We're in a tight spot, and we need some firepower! Can we borrow a gun? Mikey! JJ! What's going on? Of course! Come in! What's the trouble? It's a long story, but we found a note and we think my wife is in danger. We need to be prepared just in case. Can we borrow a pistol? Thanks. We appreciate it. We'll bring it back as soon as we can. We just want to make sure we're ready for anything. Don't worry about bringing it back. Your wife's safety comes first. If you need anything else, let me know. Let's get to the car, JJ. Time's ticking and we need to reach that ship fast. I can't shake off this feeling of urgency. I hear you, Mikey. We'll get there as fast as we can. Just point me in the right direction. We're headed to the harbor. It's not far from here. Buckle up. This might get intense. We're a team, Mikey. We'll get through this. And when we find wife, we'll make sure those responsible pay for what they've done. You're damn right, JJ. No one messes with my family. We're almost there. Keep an eye out for anything suspicious. JJ, this is the military base mentioned in the note. We've got to be careful and find a way to that ship. My wife is apparently inside a massive statue on board. A statue on a ship? This just keeps getting weirder. Okay, we need a plan. Any idea how we can get past security and onto the ship? Over there, Mikey. That maintenance door should lead us inside without attracting too much attention. Good eye, JJ. Let's go, and remember, we're getting her out of there no matter what it takes. This is surreal, JJ. I never expected to find my wife inside a statue on a ship. Keep your guard up. We don't know what awaits us. Trust me, Mikey. I've learned to expect the unexpected with you. Let's proceed cautiously. We need to find her fast. There's no telling what they might have done to her. Keep an eye out for any signs or clues. Damn it, Mikey. I can't believe we're dealing with a lava field inside a ship. Who sets up challenges like this? We're not in some virtual reality game. Okay, think. 
There's got to be a pattern or some sort of logic to this. No, 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 Mikey, I can't believe you did this for me. I can't let your sacrifice be for nothing. Mikey, why? What kind of twisted game is this? We were supposed to get through this together. Oh. The respawn system in this game is insane! I died again, but at least I found a glitch with these invisible blocks. Opens up a whole new path. How many times have you died now? And invisible blocks, that's some next level stuff. Lead the way. I've lost count, man. But check this out. These blocks are like a secret passage. Okay, JJ, brace yourself. The next challenge is a combo of lava and fans. The fans blow us right into the lava, and it's game over. You've got to be kidding me. <laughs> Survival, my friend, is about timing and precision. We've got to navigate through the gusts without getting tossed into the fiery pit. It's like a dance. A deadly dance. Dance or not, I'm not keen on turning into virtual barbecue. Any tricks up your sleeve, or are we just winging it like always? JJ, take a look around. Do you see all these bodies? It's like a virtual graveyard. Whatever's coming next must be seriously messed up. This is unsettling, Mikey. I've never seen so many virtual corpses in one place. What's the deal with this next trial? And why does it feel like we're walking into our own doom? Brace yourself, JJ. The next challenge involves passing through a narrow grate. One wrong move, and it's a free fall into the lava abyss. No respawns. This is as real as it gets. A narrow grate over lava? You're not serious. We're literally walking on a virtual tightrope with death waiting below. How are we supposed to make it through this? Fear not, my friend. We take it slow, step by step. Precision is the key here. One wrong move, and it's game over for good. But hey, we faced worse, right? Look ahead, JJ. Sand dunes as far as the eye can see. The next trial involves traversing these sand mountains. But hey, I've got a plan that'll make it a breeze. Sand mountains? Seriously? After the lava and narrow grates, what's next? But fine, I'm intrigued. Lay out this brilliant plan of yours, Mikey. JJ, check it out. The next trials are behind that closed door. To get through, we've got to tackle a logical puzzle. Are you ready for some mental gymnastics? Logical puzzles after all the chaos? Well, it's a change of pace. Lay it out, Mikey. What's the challenge, and how do we crack it to get those markers? JJ, we've got a unique challenge ahead. We need to retrieve the markers by using a sticky piston and some logical finesse. There's glass in a delicate spot, and we can't break it or risk setting off an explosive chain reaction. Gently push the glass with a sticky piston. Sounds like threading a needle in a virtual minefield. But let's do this. I'm trusting your logic on this, Mikey. Trust well placed, JJ. First, we extend the sticky piston, slow and steady. Watch the glass. We want it to move just enough to create a gap without causing any chaos. Great job, JJ. We've got all the markers, and now it's time for the final leg of our journey. I'm thinking we use these markers to hack the door. Ready for some virtual hacking? Magic markers? I like the sound of that. Let's hope this hacking session goes smoother than some of our previous trials. Inserting the markers now. Ready when you are. Here goes nothing. Inserting the markers and initiating the hack. Keep an eye on the door. Once the markers do their thing, it should swing open, revealing what lies beyond. Blocking our path? This sounds like a nightmare. Rhythmic or not, how do we make it through unscathed? I'm not keen on becoming virtual roadkill. Fear not, JJ. Watch their movements closely. It's like a dance, a chaotic but predictable one. We time our moves, synchronize with their rhythm, and gracefully waltz our way through. No need to break a virtual sweat. JJ, prepare yourself. Behind this door, we're facing none other than Freddy Fazbear. But here's the silver lining. There's a chest with weapons. We better grab them. They'll surely come in handy. Freddy Fazbear? Seriously? I've heard about this virtual nightmare. But weapons? That's a game changer. Lead the way, Mikey. Let's arm ourselves and face whatever awaits on the other side. Cake Meadow? After Freddy Fazbear and virtual warfare, this feels like a bizarre change of pace, but hey. Well, JJ, seems like the virtual calm didn't last long. Ahead of us, a horde of monsters is gearing up for an attack. But fear not, armed and ready, we'll breeze through them just like everything else.
Monsters after a cake meadow stroll? Hold up, JJ! Look over there! Behind those bars! Is that our family? They need rescuing! Let's get them out of there! Our family? What are they doing in this virtual world? Never mind. Let's rescue them. Any idea how we break through those bars? Weapons at the ready, JJ. JJ, now that our family is safe, how about a quick detour for some virtual gold? We can use it and then slip into a portal, maintaining our anonymity. Virtual gold hunt. Why not? Let's grab some bling and then vanish into the portal. JJ, after that portal journey, how about a stroll to the virtual spa? A bit of relaxation and maybe catch a glimpse of how the audience is reacting to the experiences we've conquered. Spa sounds like a plan. Let's unwind a bit and see how the audience is taking in our adventures. I'm curious to know the impact of our virtual escapades. The spa is just around the corner. Once we're there, we can subtly eavesdrop and get a sense of the vibes. Maybe even catch a snippet of the Sevens show. Time to see how our exploits are resonating in the virtual world. Subtle eavesdropping and a sneak peek at the show. Sounds like a plan. I'm curious to know if our virtual endeavors are causing a stir. Lead on, Mikey. Let's see what the spa has in store. Spa fees paid, JJ. Now, let's step inside and treat ourselves to a refreshing swim in the virtual pool. A bit of aquatic relaxation after our adventures sounds just right. Paid and ready for a swim. Lead the way, Mikey. A dip in the virtual pool is exactly what we need to wash away the remnants of our pixelated escapades. JJ, while we're enjoying this virtual pool, how about we make a detour to a virtual wedding? A bit later, of course, but it could be a unique addition to our unpredictable adventure. Wedding? Now that's a surprising twist. Why not? We can finish our swim and then head to the ceremony. Lead the way, Mikey. This adventure keeps getting more interesting. JJ, what if we add a touch of spontaneity to our virtual adventure? How about breaking through this fence and crashing the virtual wedding? We could join in and, who knows, maybe even get married ourselves. That's a wild idea, Mikey. I love it. Lead the way, fence breaker. Let's see if we can turn this virtual ceremony into a celebration of our own. JJ, as we revel in the aftermath of our spontaneous virtual wedding, let's talk about the challenge of dealing with all that security. Breaking through the fence was the easy part. True that, Mikey. The virtual security was no joke. From monsters to animatronics, it felt like we were facing an entire virtual army. JJ, what's a celebration without a touch of luxury? How about we hop into our Lamborghini and cruise over to the nightclub in style? Lamborghini ride? Now that's how you make an entrance. Lead the way, Mikey. Let's turn heads and arrive at the nightclub like virtual VIPs. Buckle up, JJ. The virtual road awaits. Our Lamborghini is ready for some high-speed glamour. Let's make heads turn and arrive at the nightclub in true style. JJ, the nightclub is buzzing, and I'm thinking we add a bit more excitement to our entrance. How about we climb through a window instead of taking the mundane door? Adds a touch of thrill, don't you think? Style and unpredictability, that's our brand. Window entrance it is. Lead on, Mikey. Let's make this nightclub experience as unique as our virtual adventure. Cheers, Mikey. Grabs the mugs with both hands. Let's make this night even more unforgettable. Takes a sip from each mug. Oh, unpredictability and virtual adventures raises his mug to unpredictability takes another sip this virtual beer tastes surprisingly good lead on mikey let's keep the party going and make this night legendary jj feeling the thrill of the night how about a short virtual joyride let's hop back into our lamborghini and cruise through the virtual streets what do you say buckle up jj heads towards the lamborghini why did you get in drunk you shouldn't have done that while driving One week later. Hey, Mikey. How was your day today? Not too bad, JJ. How about you? Anything interesting? Just the usual stuff. Work was okay, but nothing out of the ordinary. And then suddenly we heard a knock at the door. Really? That's unexpected. Who could it be at this hour? Good evening. I'm here to discuss your home loan. And it seems there are some outstanding payments that need to be addressed. Oh, really? We weren't expecting anyone regarding this. What's the issue? We've been having some financial difficulties lately, and we don't have the funds to make a payment right now. Mikey, we really need to find a way to make some money, but I've searched the entire house, and we couldn't find anything. I know, JJ. This is so stressful. 
We need a solution, and fast. What are we gonna do, Mikey? We can't let things continue like this. We can't give up, JJ. Maybe we can explore other options, like finding part-time jobs or selling some of our belongings. We have to be resourceful. You're right, Mikey. We'll figure something out. We can't lose hope. Mikey, now that we've decided to find work, let's head out and see what opportunities are available. Wait, JJ, look over there. There's a job fair just down the street. That's perfect. Let's go check it out and see if there are any job openings that match our skills. You too. You're just in time. We could use some extra hands around here. Take these materials and get to work, and we'll make sure you're compensated for your efforts. Thank you so much. We really appreciate this opportunity. We'll do our best and work hard to meet your expectations. That's what I like to hear. Welcome to the team. Let's get started. Mikey, be careful with that scaffolding. We need to make sure it's stable and secure. I've got it, JJ. Safety first. Let's double check everything to ensure no one gets hurt. Mikey, it feels good to be part of a team and contribute to this project. We're making progress. Absolutely, JJ. Mikey! Oh my god, are you okay? Oh. Stay still, I'm calling an ambulance right now! My friend fell from a height at a construction site and broke his leg. We need an ambulance immediately! Mikey, we're going to assess your leg and make sure you get the treatment you need. Can you tell us where it hurts? It's my leg! The pain is excruciating! It hurts a lot! Please, do what you can to make it better! Oh my god, Mikey! What should we do to save mine? Why does the doctor take so long to come out? I've examined Mikey and it appears he has a broken leg. He'll need to be taken to the hospital for further evaluation and treatment. Is it a serious injury? Will he be okay? The good news is that it looks like a clean break. With proper medical attention, he should recover well. We'll take care of him at the hospital. Thank you, doctor. Let's get Mikey to the hospital right away. Thank you so much. We really appreciate your support during this difficult time. We'll make sure Mikey gets the care he needs. I hope everything turns out well for Mikey. Let us know how he's doing. And if there's anything else we can do to help. We'll keep you updated. And thanks again for your generosity and understanding. We'll be in touch. Thank you once again. I'll head to the hospital now. We'll be in touch with any updates on Mikey's condition. Excuse me, can you please tell me where my friend Mikey is? He was brought in earlier. Of course, Mikey is on the second floor. You can take the stairs or the elevator to get there. Thank you. I'll head to the second floor right away. Hello, doctor. You mentioned you wanted to show me how Mikey's doing. How is he? Hi, JJ. I appreciate you coming. Mikey's condition is stable, but he's still unconscious. We've been monitoring his progress closely. I appreciate the update. Can I see him now? Of course. Follow me. He's in room 302. We'll be there in a minute. Thank you for taking care of him, doctor. It's been really tough for all of us. JJ, I must be honest with you. Mikey's condition is quite severe, and he requires extensive treatment to recover. I understand, doctor. Mikey's health comes first. What are the estimated costs, and how can I pay for his treatment? The estimated cost for his treatment, surgeries, and hospital stay is around $50,000. I appreciate your dedication and the entire medical team's efforts. I believe in Mikey's strength and the care he's receiving here. Let's hope for the best. Thank you, JJ. Your contribution will go a long way in ensuring Mikey receives the necessary care. JJ, I'm thrilled to say that Mikey has made a remarkable recovery and he's now in good health. That's incredible news. I can't express how happy I am to see him well again. Thanks, JJ, for being there for me during my toughest times. I owe you big time. Mikey, your family, and I'd do anything for you. Now that you're back on your feet, let's go out and find some new adventures together. It's good to be back home, Mikey, but we still have some financial challenges to overcome. I know, JJ. We'll figure it out. Let's get some rest for now, and tomorrow we can brainstorm ideas to get back on our feet. Let's do what you said. I think this is the right action that we need to do. Mikey, did you hear that? Someone's at the door. I think I heard the doorbell ring. Yeah, I heard it too. Let's go check it out. It's probably just the mailman or something. I wonder who it could be at this hour. Mikey, it's that same guy who was demanding money earlier. He says he doesn't need money anymore and wants our help with something else. Let's go talk to him. Hey, I'm really sorry about earlier, but things have changed. I don't need the money anymore. I need your help with a different matter. Are you willing to assist? What's going on? What do you need our help with? It's a bit complicated, but I'll explain it on the way. Please hop into the helicopter. Time is of the essence. All right, let's see what he wants now. 
Look down there at the port. It's overrun with zombies. This is the task I need your help with. We must eliminate them to prevent the infection from spreading any further. If you help me with this, I'll clear all your debts. Zombies? Are you serious? This is insane! But if it means clearing our debts, we're in! Now we will fly to a military base for a short training mission. I think this will be difficult for you to cope with. We've landed at a military base. Here, you'll find the necessary resources to deal with the remaining zombie threat. Your mission now is to investigate the origin of the outbreak and save any survivors you can find. We're on it. Where should we start? We need to put an end to this madness. They were trying to enhance human strength and endurance, but something went terribly wrong. It seems to have triggered this outbreak. Cautiously advances through the quarantine zone encountering and neutralizing several zombies. As they explore, they come across a deceased military personnel. Oh my goodness, what happened? Are you okay? Wait, did you hear that? It sounds like someone's in pain. Over there, behind those crates. Hang on, we're almost at the helicopter. You'll be all right. The world had turned into a nightmarish landscape, overrun by the undead. We had just fought our way through hordes of zombies to save our wounded friend a dear companion who had been caught in the relentless onslaught. It's going to be okay. Once we get you to the hospital, they'll take care of you. We reassured her as we hurriedly boarded the helicopter, the feeling of relief washing over us. Our mission had been a success. We had rescued our friend from the clutches of death. We found our friend, but we couldn't save the soldier. He was beyond help. I couldn't shake the feeling of guilt for not being able to save the fallen soldier. Before we head to the hospital, let's take a look at the surroundings. We need to make sure there are no zombies nearby. Absolutely, JJ. The last thing we want is to run into any trouble. I don't see any immediate threats. The area seems clear. That's a relief, but we can't let our guard down. The undead can appear out of nowhere. Before we could exact our revenge on the horde of zombies that had overrun the port, we had to prioritize the life of our wounded friend. The helicopter roared through the sky, its blades slicing through the air as we sped toward the hospital. With determination, we touched down at the hospital, rushing our injured friend into the care of the medical staff. The doctors and nurses immediately got to work, attending to her wounds. Our journey was far from over, and the zombies at the port were about to face the wrath of those they had underestimated. Revenge was on the horizon. Now, let's get back to the port and make sure those zombies pay for what they've done. We have almost landed, and now we will go to the hospital to cure our friend. Mikey, thanks for helping me get my girlfriend out of the helicopter. It means a lot. No problem, JJ. I'm just glad I could assist, and it's great to see you reunited with her. You did a great job helping her, JJ. Now, let's get her back to the same room so we can continue her treatment. Yes, let's head back to the same room. The medical team there has been doing a great job, and I trust them completely. I'm really impressed with the medical staff here. They've been so attentive and professional. We strive to provide the best care possible for our patients. Thank you for helping us, Doctor. Mikey, I can't express how grateful I am for your help getting her out of that helicopter. No need to thank me, JJ. We look out for each other, especially in moments like these. Mikey, I hope your friend is doing better too. How's he holding up? Thanks for asking, JJ. He's stable for now. We'll do everything we can to ensure her recovery. You both should get some rest as well. Your unwavering support is crucial for their recovery. Now, let's get your girlfriend back to her room. Thank you both for saving me. I'm Zoya. Let's go. We're all together now. Let's make those zombies pay for what they've done. The helicopter takes off once again, carrying them back to the port. The chaotic scene at the port and the desperate attempt to rescue Zoya had been nothing short of a harrowing experience. Now, as they ascended into the skies, leaving behind the horrors and chaos, they felt a glimmer of hope. Please make yourselves comfortable. Zoya, doctor, please stay here and don't go anywhere. We'll be back shortly. Just need a quick chat. Yeah, me too. But that whole zombie situation, it's insane. We can't risk them getting hurt again. Agreed. We need to make sure the house is secure and that they stay safe. Maybe set up a plan if anything else happens. Zoya, doctor, we're heading out to take care of the zombies. We'll be back as soon as we can. Please stay inside and keep the doors locked. Your safety is our priority. With determination in my heart, I ventured out into the post-apocalyptic streets, armed with nothing but a crowbar and a burning desire to survive. The weight of the world lay on my shoulders, but I was ready for the challenge. 
As I moved through the eerily quiet streets, the groans and shuffling of the undead became more pronounced. I need to destroy a special zombie breeding ground. I've got dynamite. I'll be placing it around this breeding ground. We've got no other choice. These zombies are multiplying fast, and we need to stop them. I'll set the charges, and we'll detonate them from a safe distance. It's the only way to end this zombie threat once and for all. Now I will fall into the water in order to save my life and not explode with dynamite, after which I will try to win near the bridge so that my friends can pick me up and help me if I am wounded. JJ, are you alright? We were really worried there for a moment. Yeah, that was quite a close call. But I made it out okay, thanks guys. It's been a crazy day. I think we all need a break. Agreed. Let's take our minds off things for a while. JJ, did you see that nightmarish creature? What on earth was that? It came out of nowhere. We've got to find a way out of here, and fast. The stairs are blocked. We're trapped down here. I've got this. Let's stay close and quiet. Maybe it won't spot us. What if we try to sneak past it and make a run for the front door? It's just up the stairs. We need to be quiet and fast. I have no other choice but to start a fire. So the monster that is dismantling our house piece by piece we urgently need to get together so that we can all escape from this house together and be alive. Otherwise, there may be big problems. 